In this video, I'm going to share with you how I went from sounding like this to sounding like this using nothing more than all of this. So for the last year and a half, I've been working on a new studio space and I finally got it to where I really like the way it looks, but sound has always been the biggest issue for me. It has been the toughest uh, thing to overcome. I'm really picky when it comes to sound. I really like filming outdoors. I've always had the Rode Video Micro on top of my camera and it's worked flawlessly for me for an uh, you know outdoor uh, run and gun vlogging style uh, video. Uh, it's an audio solution that is much better than the uh, in-camera microphone. And now that I'm in the studio, I wanted to figure out a solution that was going to give me great sound in here as well. You know, as you can hear now, there's a lot of echo in this room. You know, I could probably do blankets or, uh, you know, panels on the walls, more uh, pictures on the walls. I do have carpet. Uh, and you know, I've got curtains up, so that's helped a little bit. But what I really need to do is get the microphone closer to my mouth. And that's where this comes in. I wanted to do it without spending any money. It's really easy to spend you know, over $1,000 on a shotgun mic with a boom arm and you know, have that for you know, an indoor studio. But I really didn't want to spend any money right now. And this is the solution that I came up with. I realized that I already had all the things that I needed in order to make it happen. I have a 3.5 aux cord that is part of my Beats Studio headphones. I was able to use that to plug directly into the camera, the other end into the microphone. Then I got a Minolta XG7, my old film camera, and I mounted the Rode Video Micro right to the top of that. Then I attach the camera right to the Joby Gorillapod. You know, Joby Gorillapod has a thousand uses. This is just one of them. Uh, I'll probably have this as a dedicated setup and I'll probably end up getting another Joby Gorillapod for other stuff that I'm doing, you know, when I'm out and about. Uh, this one's getting a little bit older, so I don't really trust the legs on it. So it's actually the perfect solution for this as I lay it pretty flat on the desk in front of me uh, to make that happen. So yeah, that's what I did. Got the, all those items together, didn't spend a dime, and I have a really nice desk rig. So let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. And this is the final product. Everything's all put together. It's about seven, eight inches away from my mouth, sitting right here on the desk. And I couldn't be happier with some of the samples that I've been listening to. I'm glad that I didn't have to spend a dime and I had all the items here in my studio in order to make this happen. And the sound quality is a big improvement over what was going on when it was on top of the camera. So I'm really curious what your thoughts are. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and the information that I put out there, uh, and if you have any questions about you know any of the process or anything else that I'm doing, feel free to drop them in the comments or anything that you'd like to see in a future video, feel free to let me know. So hope all is well with you. And until next time, take care.